Hi, this is Bill Wynn speaking to you from our farm near Lake Audi, Manitoba. I'm the spokesperson for a group of rural landowners from the municipality of Harrison Park, petitioning our Reeve and Council to end its annual crown and windrow rural grading practice and adopt the safer crown and feather method to improve rural public safety for all in our municipality. The 2021 Harrison Park windrow season is about to start. Our Public Works Department will soon start installing windrows of all shapes and sizes like these on all municipal and provincial roads in Harrison Park, with the exception of PR 354 throughout the six-month grading season ahead. They are placed randomly and change every couple of weeks, which adds to their unpredictability. Drive cautiously as windrows present the motorist with a collision rollover threat. If you collide with a windrow at speeds over 50 kilometers per hour, you may lose control of your vehicle and experience a rollover. Please slow down, be mindful of their threat, and drive defensively. We've noticed our neighboring RM of Yellowhead has started its annual grading season. Here are pictures of one of their first passes along the Auction Mart Road towards Strathclaire. Notice the road is crowned and feathered on both sides, with no windrow. This is also the way roads are graded in our neighboring municipalities of Clan William Erickson, Minto Odana, RM of Dauphin, along with the majority of all municipalities in Manitoba. We give those mayors, reeves, and councils our salute of respect for using these safer and more efficient rural road maintenance practices for the safety of the ratepayers and visitors to their municipalities. Today, I want to review four ways in which the crown and feather grading method can improve rural road public safety in Harrison Park. This first slide illustrates the most dramatic and immediate improvement. The feather method eliminates the collision obstruction from the road as seen in these pictures. In this video, the main fault with the windrow method is illustrated. The windrow dam does not permit the road crown to shed rainwater into ditches. This causes or contributes to several public safety road hazards. The crown and feather method eliminates road erosion hazards like this caused by windrow dams. It also eliminates water pool hazards caused by windrow damming as well. Windrow dams contribute in other ways to public safety hazards. Dammed rainwater penetrates the road, making it wet and soft. This prolongs the road's drying time, increasing its vulnerability to deeper rutting, washboarding, and potholing as vehicles continue to travel over the road while it's wet and soft. Crown and feathering eliminates windrow dam contributions to road damage and the motorist hazards they contribute to. Will retiring the current windrow practice and replacing it with the feathering practice eliminate all accidents and make rural roads perfectly safe? No, of course not. But we believe the crown and feather method, when performed properly, will help improve public safety for all by eliminating four key rural road hazards. Mother Nature, traffic, road design, and operator proficiency will always contribute to rural road motorist hazards. As with all driving, a safety-first attitude is needed on a rural gravel road, and the motorist must drive defensively. Help us make the rural communities of Harrison Park safer for all, especially for the kids on their school buses. Please sign our petition found below on this video, or on our website or social media sites. Thank you for your time and support. And remember folks, slow down and drive safe.